Hey gents, today we're diving into the new Ministry of Supply Velocity Suit, which is here by popular demand because as you know, I love my previous Ministry of Supply Performance Blazer, but I talked about in that review that you couldn't exactly get away with it as a suit and the Velocity Suiting looks to try and repair that. So as we jump in, make sure you subscribe to learn about the best menswear on the internet, give a thumbs up for performance fabrics and performance suiting, and let's get this bad boy on and try it out. So I ordered the 40 regular on the jacket. I usually find myself between a 38 and a 40. And then on the pants, I ordered a size 32. And right out of the box, you can see the fabric has had a very nice upgrade from the original. The original one had a very plain and flat look to it. This one has much more of a almost brushed cotton type of look. It has a nice texture to it, without being like a plaid or anything. It is super subtle and very nice. Now, of course, one of the best features about this is the anti-wrinkle. And so you like wrap this up in your suitcase or you wear it on a plane and it comes out looking extremely good. And just like a performance fabric, an Under Armour or a Nike shirt, it is moisture wicking and four way stretch. So the pants should be slightly more comfortable than your standard uh, wool or cotton chinos. And the suiting is going to be more resistant to wrinkles and other things like, you know, you sit on a plane all day and you go to a meeting, you don't want to look like you sat on a plane all day and then went to a meeting. So, let's get the suit on here. Ooh, I like the stretch. I do end up wearing that other Ministry of Supply blazer constantly uh, on planes because it's a great way to look just a little bit more dressed up than all of the uh, unwashed masses that go onto the airplanes, but also you don't have to worry about looking like you sat on an airplane all day because of the moisture wicking. All right, I really like the way it looks on here. So they have slim, not too slim appels. They had really slim appels on the old one. Nice breast pocket. There's an upgrade from the previous. And then instead of a split back, we have a pain split. Okay, let's get the pants on. I want you to do a little bit of time warp here because I actually wore the suit out on a trip, on a three day trip. And I have to say, I love wool trousers. I love my bonobos chinos. I love all pants. Uh, but these pants feel so good to wear on a daily basis, on planes, on to the office, to work. I think I compared the other ones to sweatpants at work, and these are a huge upgrade to that because they have the same performance and the same feeling as the previous Ministry of Supply ones, but they look a little bit more like actual trousers or actual chinos based on the brushed look of the fabric. The other upgrade that Ministry of Supply did to the jacket is that they no longer sell small, medium, large. They sell 38, 40, 42, etc. They don't offer long, short, regular sizes. I hope yet, because that would be the next big upgrade. I'd probably go with a 38 long instead of a 40, but I think based on the other suit fare that you see out there and the way that other guys wear them, if you get a jacket that fits like this, you're gonna look better than most of the guys out there. So until Articles of Style or some of these made to measure companies start doing actual performance fabrics, you know, Charles Turret did like a performance suiting, which was 95 wool, 5% spandex. To me, that's not really performance suiting. This is performance suiting. You can really throw this into a weekender, a suitcase, an overhead compartment, and then pull it out and it does not wrinkle. It's a great feature and a great fabric. It's also extremely easy to manage. You don't need to get this suit dry cleaned. You actually can just, I just cold wash them with a light bit of detergent and then I hang dry them in order to get them to be refreshed instead of having to dry clean them. I dry clean my other suits. I love my suits. But this becomes more of an awesome everyday wear thing with very little upkeep. So yeah, on the inside of the jacket, you've got your two pockets over here on the side. You also have a third interior pocket. It is partially lined, so it's a half lined jacket. You can see that over here. And then as you look on the inside, that just helps with it being a lightweight, breathable jacket, especially in the summer. If you're looking for this to be your like summer performance jacket, this is absolutely it. The inner lining of the pockets of the pants are upgraded from the previous version, a much more premium feeling to them. But then the left side also has this interesting double pocket approach, which took me a little bit of getting used to because I'm so used to sliding my hands in and then the left one was a little bit smaller. But I like having the double pocket because I do end up putting smaller like little paper things in the small pocket and then the big pocket comes from my hands and you know the AirPods. The clasp and zipper design make these look a lot like slacks. It is that hidden clasp feature. I kind of wish it didn't have belt loops on it. That would be a nice upgrade. I know I'm working on a video where I talk about pants with no no belt loops, but that's just a minor thing. And the right rear pocket has the double pocket design, which I like because I'll throw my BMW key up in the smaller pocket and put my wallet in the big button pocket. The sleeve has a four button design. The buttons are plastic and they are non-working, so 
Not a big thing to write home about there, but also not a major deal. So let's round it up here with quality, fit, style, price, overall experience. So with quality, I think this is one of the best performance suits that you can get out there. The Charles Turret performance suiting, I wore it a few times and I still just got like, it was still a little bit wrinkly. It was, they advertise it as having cooling and then anti-wrinkle and that kind of stuff, but you still need to take care of it like a regular garment. This being all synthetic allows you to avoid some of that stuff. For fit, I really like the way the pants fit. They're not skin tight, they are pretty slim, but I, they're a slim that I really like and really appreciate. The jacket I think fits extremely well. If I can make it a couple inches longer, then, but that's a Meyer thing. This isn't a custom suit, this is a size 40. Styling I think they nailed. I wouldn't buy the black one necessarily. I don't think most guys need a black suit in their wardrobe, but this is a great gray. I love the textured look of the fabric as opposed to other performance materials that I have. For price, you've got the jacket about 450 and the pants at 145. Sometimes they do a discount and that's going to be steep, but if you're looking at other suits and you're having your other first suit, this really could be your first one. I've literally wore my previous generation Ministry of Supply suit and blazer all over the world. Uh, I even wore my jacket a lot underneath like a my, my child carrier and the fabric holds up extremely well. I think it would, if you put this up against like a wool suit, I think they'll both last extremely long. So this could be your first one, but also if you have your first like staple suit where you have that as part of your regular rotation, I think this could become more of your everyday one. But you know, everybody's a little bit different on price sensitivity. With the upgrades and you know, sometimes the bundle, that $550 price point, this becomes a much better deal than the previous generation ministry of supply stuff. There's not a lot of like pure performance stuff out there. I think Bluffworks is the other one that I looked at and I was a big fan of those ones as well. But all the features of the performance fabric, especially that it's not even anti-wrinkle, it's wrinkle free, and then the easy management makes this an extremely compelling case. And then overall experience, I've had great luck with their customer service. They've been extremely personable and helpful. They have fast free shipping both ways. And so even if you need to do a sizing exchange, I've found in the past that it's extremely easy to do. And they wanna make sure you're happy with their stuff because they're a young company, they're trying to grow and I would give them a chance. So you have it gents, that is the Ministry of Supply Velocity suit. If you have any questions about it, comment below. Also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. We're still working on the studio. The lighting isn't exactly where I'd like it to be. The audio isn't quite there, but I'd rather get videos out than continue to try and iterate and have to take a break or something because I can still cover all this stuff in the same way. It's just, you know, I'm tweaking it. I love to have the Swanson poster back. That was, uh, if you watch any of my videos, I basically had three versions of this channel. The very first one, uh, that was in my guest bedroom. I put that up specifically for the channel. That's neither here nor there. Love to hear from you guys down in the comments. Any suggestions, companies, products, anything else. Uh, there's also a Google Doc down below. I have a podcast with the Bronest Man, all kinds of stuff down there. Love to hear from you guys. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Yes, I like pina coladas I'm getting caught in the rain I'm not much into yoga I am into champagne I've got to meet you by tomorrow